You are here because you're leaders, and you're not the leaders of tomorrow. You are the leaders of today. We are so happy to be welcoming the whole world here to Bogota. Welcome to the 1,300 brilliant young leaders from 194 countries around the world. Despite all the problems that we have around us, we can create a world that we want to live in. Real peace will not be achieved unless the youth are an essential part of it. And that peace in this country and everywhere else will only work when you address the end of poverty. If we are to survive our century, you need to think. The path to peace is fraught with difficulties and dilemmas, but the reward is worth the struggle. If we're not too young to be soldiers, or too young to be victims of conflict, we're not too young to be part of the peaceful solution. We did it. We achieved it. The young people did it in Colombia. There's a wonderful group of UN ambassadors here. He said the best part of this week was when young people were speaking. You do not have to quit your job to have an impact. How do companies not just act with purpose, but how do they help to create the conditions for everyone with purpose? So we are making a global call to action for all of you in business to put disability on their agenda. We can't have a world of peace until we have equality. I got fired for pushing for equal pay. I believe that girls and women should have the dignity of not having our bodies touched unwillingly. We're not objects of charity, we're subjects of rights. And we're here not to ask favors, but to demand rights. Fighting for human rights is not easy, but we fight on because of the commitment we made to leave no one behind. The energy that came from these young people, I feel it really started with One Young World. This conference is about young people making a difference and young people doing extraordinary things. We raised $2.7 million from 95,000 young people around the world. With education, we have been able to impact over 500,000 people in Latin America. We were able to build over 5,300 shelters that housed over 26,000 earthquake victims. I'll either end up dead or he will listen to me. So I met with him and two days later, Gambia banned female genital mutilation. I am a survivor of the genocide carried out in which more than a million people were killed. I saw my dad being killed and fed to the dogs to eat. I chose to forgive people who killed my father and all those innocent people. I chose to forgive them. Let's make this world a better place. Let's each one of us be the peace. But world peace requires love. Love requires understanding. Understanding can hold no judgment, so when you smile, it shows your understanding. So one young world, we can change things. And peace, peace is possible. It always seems impossible until it's done. And that's what you are all about making impossible possible. Success to me is fulfilling your full potential as a human being on this planet. We are one people traveling on one planet towards one common future. We can be the first generation to end extreme poverty and the last generation to live with the threats of climate change. The International City of Peace and Justice, The Hague, calls on you. See you next year in The Hague! you do? What commitment can you make? Stand up and be proud and tell the world that young people will take over and we will make the world a better place.